there, I'm Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. Several videos ago, I did a studio tour and I never showed you what was behind these barn doors. So today, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take you behind the barn doors. I'm not sure that you can get the scale of how big these <laughs> barn doors are, but they are quite massive and they run along a track on the ceiling and then on the floor we have casters down there so they are quite large which is probably why i'm going to be breaking this section up into or this rather this video up into several different sections so today we're going to be taking a look at what's behind door number one Behind this first door is all of my art journals, some from several years ago and some more current. So I thought it might be fun to show you the old art journals and some of the more current ones. This art journal goes way back to 1995. This was when I was in college and it's a big art journal. And since then, I've also done some sketches of paintings and things like that, that I'm just kind of sketching out ideas. But back to when I was in college, I was in interior architecture. And so this was my very first sketching sketchbook. And here's again, some more current things, but this is just mainly working with a lot of line work and more current sketches. And then here I am working on perspective, shading, things like that. But 1995. <laughs> My very first sketchbook. Fast forwarding several years here. We are, I took a break um, out of college from sketching because I was busy with full-time work. So um, we are fast forwarding several years here. And it's kind of funny because even though this was many, many years ago still, I actually recognize quite a few of these little motifs in here. And I actually use several of these little motifs throughout my paintings throughout the years. There's a lot of nature themed things. And um, yeah, so it's just kind of fun to, to flip back through and some jellyfish, if you guys remember my jellyfish paintings. Um, kind of fun to flip back through these and see the progress and then also what is still familiar and what's really kind of um, hung on throughout the years in my sketchbook and my art. Moving in to the 2000s with this little book, um, I used to scrapbook and uh, scrapbooking then turned into art journaling slash scrapbooking. So this I believe is 2012, but it's a little bit of an art journal and a little bit of uh, kind of what was going on in my life at the time. A few pictures here and there. So you can see it kind of slowly morphing more into art journaling here. And a lot of these pages, or a lot of these journals rather, are not completely filled up. So I think I should go back and fill them up. I think that should be uh, a goal maybe for this year is just to go back and fill some things in. And I also got a lot really into hand making a lot of these journals out of um, old book covers and things like that. So um, that I, I really loved doing. 
And here we are in another handmade art journal, this one from 2014. And you'll see as I go through them, there's like one of two, one of however many. Um, but again, kind of part art journaling and part scrapbooking. And you know, here's some pictures, what was going on that day, that week. This was actually when we were building our house, the house that we're in now. So um, lots of little pictures of that. And oops, some art journaling too, or rather some just some art journaling pages. And more pictures of the house build here. Just lots of different, and then also a place to express feelings, things like that. But that's what I use these books for. Less of a sketchbook and more of an art journal slash scrapbooking area. There you have it, 2014. I wanted to show you one more journal in that style because this guy is big and thick. He's huge. And this was inspired by an artist that um, she makes inspiration journals. And I will link that in the description below. Um, but again, art journal slash scrapbooking type of style. But it's huge. <laughs> A huge, huge book. And, you know, some of the pages are sticking together and I don't mind that. It's all good stuff. Um, so... There you go. And I believe this is 2015. As you can see, it's a huge, big, thick book. <laughs> Two more sketchbooks here. Um, this one, I was into drawing faces for a, a very, a very brief moment in time. And I thought this entire book was going to be filled up with faces. But as you will see here, I've only done a few. And uh, as it turns out, I don't really like drawing faces. Uh, I believe, yes, that is it. And then she's just laying in here. So I um, had good intentions for this one, but the rest of the book is completely empty. So again, I should just go in and fill it up, right? And then this sketchbook underneath here was more going to be a collage sketchbook. And you will see here that it is also, um, the pages are actually painted back here. Uh, some of them, some of them are completely empty. But I had intentions of doing a lot of collage with uh, magazines and things like that. Since I didn't like drawing faces, I thought I'd cut them out. And some of these pages I really, really love. They're just kind of fun pages. Not at all what I do anymore or what I create anymore, but they're fun to flip back through. This one is more of a travel slash art journal, and it actually lived in this leather bound case that I made and I took it with us along with um, some pens and pencils that I just kept in this little pouch here. I sewed these along with um, some credit card holders and things like that, little pouches. But I took this with us to California when we went to California and my husband was working there for about a month so I just documented our different um, dinners and the different things that I did and I still want to bind it because as you can see the pages are loose um, so I still want to bind it into a finished book but um, just some more sketches and things like that than art journaling because again we were traveling and I didn't have a lot of supplies with me so and then of course gluing in various different uh, memorabilia from different places and all of the good stuff. These next two journals combine my love of sewing, 
love of scrapbooking and a love of art journaling. And I will find the name of the person that I was inspired by. In fact, I took a couple classes from her on how to make both of these journals. But as you can see, this is a massive accordion style journal and it is, um, let's see if I can try to unfold it for you. It is really cool how it works, but it kind of does this. Hopefully that is, you can see that, um, but it's a cool idea. It's a cool journal. And then this is the other journal that again, combined my love of sewing fabric and there's all these little fun pockets in there and different um, pieces of papers and you know, it just folds all the way out. And again, I will um, link that information um, down below if you guys are interested in making one of these, but it's a, they're, I, I think they're really fun. So, and we're now fast forwarding to present day. And as you will see by these three journals, I actually don't do a whole lot of sketching or journaling anymore, and I really want to get back to it. So, uh, but how I use these is I, let me find out, oh, here we go. I take and I sketch out different ideas for paintings is how I was using these. That was the intention of these. And here's just some encaustic wax down on this page. But my intention was to sketch out various different ideas of paintings. And as you can see, most of this is completely blank. <laughs> and then that was the same thing with this one, sketching out ideas of different paintings. Here was a uh, nature painting and uh, just kind of an idea for, or rather a nature, a, a photo <laughs> that I was going to make a painting of inspired by this photo and just sketching out some ideas, what areas I wanted smooth, what areas I wanted some texture in. And then I think back here, yes, more sketches of some paintings. And then uh, this was a painting that I did for our bathroom. So again, it's mainly blank and I really should get back into using these because it's, it's fun to kind of not completely plan out, the idea, but just kind of get an idea. And this is the very last sketchbook. That This is the current sketchbook that I'm using and I have taken, most of these pages have wax on them. And what I'm doing with this is just experimenting with different pens to see what will work over the wax. And again, I really want to get back into more sketching and things like that. I do a lot of experimenting in my art and for some reason I've stepped away from the sketchbooks and um, I would love to get back into it because it's an easy portable type of thing. You don't always have to be around the griddle or the torch to do that. You can see I'm just kind of messing around here with a few sketches um, and then yeah the rest of the book is really just pretty blank. And that concludes today's tour of what's behind door number one and the great big art journal flip through. I do have more art journals that I haven't flipped through, but I figured that kind of just gets you a glimpse into what I used to do and also a glimpse into maybe what I would like to do going forward in the future as far as continuing a more of a sketchbook practice. If you did like that video, and wouldn't mind giving it a great big thumbs up. I would so very, very much appreciate it. If you aren't subscribed and would consider doing so, I would also very much appreciate that. And if you are subscribed, but aren't getting notified every time I release a new video, which is typically on Tuesdays, if you hit that bell down below, that will notify you. Again, thanks so much for coming along. We'll talk to you soon and bye for now. Thank you.